desktop software. So this software will give you some graphical interface by which you can manage your Git repository. Central repository also and local repository also. So how to download this? Just uh, type this Git desktop and then you will get this particular link. Once you will click on this, you will get here download option. Just click on that link and this will give you setup file. Go to this setup file and click on that like simple like how we do installation of other software. So you will get something like I don't have. And it's like simple installation. Just click on this, click on yes, yes, and then this software will be installed. Once you will install that software, you will get a desktop like this. So as a first time user, you will not get everything here. So what do you need to do? So let me first log out from my account. OK, this part I will I will show you in new account in Azure system. So everyone will get idea since I have already this software. So it's giving me like something which is already cached in this particular application. So all the cache data is coming. So better we, we will move to Azure system and we'll see everything. OK, as a place user, how you will do all this Git desktop software setup and Git account setup. OK, so Ajay, are you there? Can you share your screen? Ah, yes. So you, you can see, right? Yes. So first go to email. Don't go to inside of email. First go to outside of email. Oh, you are outside this. Yeah. So you will see once I will add you as a user, then you will get this email. Okay. This first two email is for account creation, but uh, third email you can see. Once I will add your email ID in my organization, you will get third email. So click on that. Now here you will see you have one option join at the rate of news of this uh, organization. Before that, what you need to do, don't click, don't click. Before that, you need to install that software. So go to uh, browser and click on Git desktop. I download. Yes, click on download.
Why this error is coming? Yes, Cancel this and try to open that file again. Yes. So software installation is done. Now you need to click on sign in to github.com. And give your user ID and password here. Oh, I have shared with you. No, let me see. <clears throat> let me share credential with you. Okay. okay. Wait, wait. So click on this authorized desktop. Click on open. Okay. Now here, uh, use my GitHub account name and email address. Let it be yeah, in email. Wait, wait, wait. In email, click on that drop down and select your actual email. First option. Click on finish. Then you can see one option, second option, clone a repository from the internet. Type here as a SAP SAPI. Anything is coming. Just cancel this. Cancel this. Cancel this again. Cancel. Yeah. Cancel this again. Now go to your email again. Okay. 
so that same email the third number email third number not this one uh, okay so which one you gave yes yes this one only click on that green option again maybe last time that account was not logged in so already have account click on sign in Green option. So you can see here. <clears throat> so we have all this uh, three repository in your uh, repository also in Git also. Yes. And if you go on people, so you can see now we have two people in this organization. Click on people. So these two people have uh, access for this organization. One person is owner, so I am owner of this organization, and Ajay is member of this organization. So he will have only read access, but I have all the access. Okay, in this way, like everyone will able to connect with my organization. So I will collect everyone email ID, and I will give all the, uh, access to everyone. So what you need to do? By tomorrow, you need to create your Git account. And soon we will ask you to fill one Google form. OK, maybe within one day, like by tomorrow or day after tomorrow, we will ask you to fill one Google form. So once you will fill that Google form, I will give you. So you need to provide your uh, email address there. So we will collect few more detail there. So I will use same email address to give you Git access. So for everyone, uh, whatever like email address you will use, you will feel there that email access must have Git account. Is it clear to everyone? Yes. OK, so what about others? Like if everyone clear, just put yes in chat. So I will come to know like, yeah, everyone is good on this part. So let's stop sharing. Yeah, you can stop sharing your screen. Good question. Can you hear? Can you hear me? Right? Yes, yes. Oh, okay. Um, yes, yes. Yeah, sorry. My question was, um, do we need to create a healthcare organization or we're going to be part of your... Uh, your voice is very low. I'm not sure it's only for me or for everyone. No, but for everyone, we can't, we, uh, we can't hear. Oh, sorry. Is it better now? Yes, yes, it's better now. Okay, now I was asking, do we need to be part of your organization or do you want us to create our own individuals? Under Git? Yeah, within this organization, I will add everyone. Okay, got it. Thanks. Okay, so yes, Fanta, you can ask your question.
So, Fanta, you have any questions? Just ask your question. Okay, so, so maybe you can rejoin. Uh, and uh, you can rejoin if you are facing some problem. Everyone has access to unmute and to speak. If you are facing any problem, just OK, fine then. Mm, so here, so far, like uh, we did this two part. We we learned a basic of this Git repository. It's not very in-depth. It's a very basic one. Slowly we will work on this and you will get in-depth knowledge. OK. And Git desktop also we have seen. Coming to this AnyPoint platform account and AnyPoint Studio software, so is there anyone like, okay, let me create it better. Uh, 